massive pileup. Five separate crashes sent six people to the hospital. Tonight at 5.30, the plans to make a dangerous stretch of road safer for drivers. The rain today made for some dangerous roads on this Thanksgiving. Nearly a dozen cars wrecked along the notorious Fairbanks curve just today. Yeah, one crash happened live on Eyewitness News. Channel 9's Roy Ramos learned how the state plans to change the roads there so they're safer for drivers. Oh, we mostly hear, like, sirens. You could always hear the sirens. Stephanie Wolfinger lives right next to I-4 and is constantly seeing drivers wreck on the Fairbanks curve. This Thanksgiving, things weren't much different, and that's why she said today she's not getting behind the wheel. Probably staying off the roads. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm walking. <laughs> this morning, the delay is backed up for miles after state troopers said there were a total of five separate wrecks involving ten cars. Six people were taken to the hospital. Fortunately, no one was seriously injured. I think a lot of people are traveling. They're not paying attention, trying to rush to where they're trying to get to. FDOT tells us the Fairbanks curve can be a challenge for drivers because of an elevation that drops down and then curves around. But plans we found with the I-4 Ultimate Project show engineers plan to change that. Details for the section of I-4 show plans call for straightening out the road and then addressing dips in the roadway. As thousands take to the roads for the holiday weekend, Stephanie's advice for drivers traveling along the Fairbanks curve. Pay attention, move over, put your cell phone down, be an aware driver. In Orlando, Roy Ramos, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.